Most Australians will happily roam without realizing that a saturated outboard starter motor can produce an electric shock that can burn an adult man's testicles. Key points Mike and Mal Leyland were the Australian documentary duo known as Leyland Brothers since the 60s. Mike and Mal Leyland were Australian documentary duo known as the Leyland Brothers from 60s. The surviving Leyland plans a final adventure before wearing her hat. They will never know the sheer horror of crossing a desert with reduced fuel sources and only a worn-out old child scout compass to guide them. And if dangerous stranger pointed rifle filled six meters away directly on their heads, he would have lacked courage and character to bluff spontaneously that he was karate specialist who could break human neck in the blink of an eye. They did not lead venturous life of Mal Leyland. But 78-year-old player, the surviving half of famous Leyland Brothers trip documentary duo, is not done yet. Mike and Mal Leyland's relationship was broken due to financial difficulties. Life and waste but my main concern at that time was survival. Mal and Mike Leyland are known for stretching chests to extreme difficulties. The Leyland brothers were just a few days before starting an objectively crazy mission to trace the route mapped by Matthew Flinders in 1802 and sail from Darwin to Sydney with a 5.5-meter boat. It was the late 1960s. The men solidified themselves as an Australian movie and television sensation, exacerbating a path that would later be followed by those like Albie Mangles, Malcolm Douglas, Steve Irwin. They danced with death many times in the name of adventure and fun, but Leyland admits that this expedition is downright cuckoo. We were on a small fishing boat rowing with my mom and dad on Lake Macquarie outside Newcastle, but this was the limit of our boat ride experience, says Leyland. Mal Leyland, 78, currently lives in Toowoomba and still sees travel as one of his greatest passions. We were in the wavy seas that went down the shore, and we had a lot of water on us. Some of God electricity caused starter motors to come into play, and it went forward the rotation of the engine turned a generator. Mal Leyland with his wife Lorraine, daughter Carmen, and classic orange Leyland brothers combi van. Suddenly, a huge electric current hit Leyland's body. My testicles, if I can talk about them, it burned very badly, he says. But the burning waste for him was the smallest of his worries. Using small outboard engine and funny little sail, they managed to approach shrimp troll to request bed. The captain told clear them or face possible death, as the angry storm clouds approached and offered to withdraw Malulaba. Noisy welcome to the shore Mike Leyland was married at this stage, and his friends Trevor Tear, who joined them on most of his journeys, were so Mr. Leyland offered to steer left behind while the others were getting on trawler. Mal Leyland wants to go on a journey with a tow.